marveling in amazement at we humans the way we are in a humorous way, an amazing way. Life can take us through so many things, be so hard, and in the midst of it, there can be almost like celebration, like lately life is really hard, it's just one of the hardest times ever, and I got this tiny little victory, you know, working on my, my work truck, it was a nagging problem that I knew was coming, it was fading and fading and fading, and I finally decided to deal with it before I was stuck somewhere, and it was a bit of a struggle, but I was confident in the end I would be able to do what I had to do, and I was able to do what I, was, what I had to do. A couple bumps, a couple obstacles, a couple problems, but it worked out, and now it's, it's right, it's tip-top for the next five minutes. <laughs> And so I'm going down the road after I, I got it fixed and all my problems are solved in that one tiny 1% of life. And this song comes on, a song I never heard before. I guess you might call it kind of a whiny love song or something, but to me all of a sudden it was the most beautiful thing in the world. I'm trying to learn the hook so I can at least sing along to that and, and just move into the music and all this. It's like this big relief. Like all of a sudden life is good and I don't know if it's the contrast, the contrast from the pain to the, the victory that makes it seem so much more than it is, but it's just interesting how we are, you know, how we can feel so much relief in something so little when things that are so big are so not so good and, and then and you think of God. And you think, are the things so big? Well, yeah, of course they are, because that's this life. It's just that he, he brings your, your focus back to reality. Not that you can always be hopping and bopping down the road to every silly love song or, or whatever thought that comes across your mind. But it, it's available to you. I mean, I'm not saying never be sad or, or you're failing somewhere. That's normal. It's normal to be sad. It's not abnormal. It's not unchristian. It's just, to me anyway, it's interesting to observe it. Probably most people know these things. And just like, what's the big deal, Mark? Everyone does that stuff. I just find it funny when I, when I stand back and look at it kind of like almost from the outside. It's getting hot here. It's already 86 and it's barely 9 o'clock. Um, but, uh, yeah, just that, that amuses me. I like to be able to laugh at myself because I take myself way too seriously sometimes. But in there, there's some stuff we can all share with each other, even when we're taking ourselves too seriously. And I just want to share a little bit of the, the lighter side of it. Even when... It's a train wreck and the dumpster's on fire or whatever metaphor you come up with. There's, there can still be some little pocket of, I don't know what you call it, joy, happiness, relief. It's there. I don't know how to manufacture it. But in this case, it didn't hurt that I had a broke down old truck that provided the opportunity to get some relief. So yeah, this I'd share. Nothing theological today on that one I'll get heavy later and and uh, start shouting repent heathen dogs or something so we can get back to what it's all about God bless us all in Jesus name Amen